In this video, we're going to learn how to make a hydraulic lime-based whitewash. Whitewash is a mixture of water and lime, into which you can add color pigments. This mixture is an eco-friendly alternative to paint and can be used either for decorative purposes or as an overcoat on many types of surfaces. To make whitewash, we will need color pigments, alum salt, white natural hydraulic lime type NHL 3.5, water, a tub, a brush, a bucket, a hose for irrigation, and gloves. In this case, we are going to whitewash a rough concrete fence. Begin with cleaning the whole surface you are going to whitewash. You can use a high-pressure cleaner or a wire brush to do so. The surface has to be perfectly clean and free of all moss or lichen. Moisten the surface 24 hours before you start coating so that the water penetrates deeply through the base. If the whitewash is applied on a dry base, it will not adhere well to the surface and will turn into a flour-like substance. We are now going to prepare the whitewash. For each litre of white hydraulic lime, add two litres of water. If the water and lime are mixed in this proportion, the mixture will have a smooth texture and will cover the base completely. If you want to colour your lime, use pigment colours. For each kilogram of lime, add about 50 grams of pigment. Feel free to do a pre-test in order to check the final texture. Remember that when the mixture dries, it loses 50% of its colour. Add the alum salt so that the mixture and the pigment bind well. For each kilogram of lime, add 100 grams of alum salt. Mix well to obtain a homogeneous mixture. Begin with coating the angles with a round brush. Apply the whitewash to the rest of the fence by moving the brush as if you are writing the number 8. This technique is called papillonage, from the French word butterfly. It eliminates brush strokes and allows the coat to be uniform. Stir the mixture regularly in order to preserve the homogeneous consistency. If your mixture isn't stirred correctly, or if you don't master the application technique yet, the paint will run. If this happens, Mix the whitewash again and give it another brush stroke before the mixture dries. Let it dry for 24 hours. Once the whitewash is completely dry, the colour becomes uniform. Now it is time to apply a second layer following the same method. 